identification is a technique we use to identify individual males in our population. It's super simple. All you need is a camera uh, with a decent enough lens and we take pictures of the dorsal sides, each side of the whale and also its tail and we look for characteristic markings that can help us to identify individuals. It's a technique that's used globally for all kinds of species, leopards, uh, elephants, you name it. Super simple and something that everyone can be part of. gouged at some point with something. We've got a big notch here on the left side, as you can see on both ears. It's quite distinctive. Um, then we've got the second feature, it's this sort of wavy part the fluke near the v-notch and then you need sort of three features to identify them so the third one is it's missing the tip on the right hand side of the fluke so you can see that that's like a pretty good match. So this is a blue whale tail fluke that I took a picture of back in 2011 and like Ben said we try to look for at least three characteristic markings that can help us to re-identify the individual. Obviously here you can see this beautiful heart-shaped scar would be the most striking thing we uh, document. We also have a notch taken out here and the V-notch area is a very characteristic shape. Um, when I took this picture I was extremely excited because I realized that I had, I had seen this individual somewhere before and it turns out there was a publication in 1984 about some of the blue whales out here and you can see this is the picture from 1984. Same individual. Look at that. Perfect match. The heart-shaped scars, the notch, the V-notch, all of it. It's really cool because these pictures are taken 27 years apart and it just shows that this is the oldest known blue whale in the northern Indian Ocean. It's uh, blue whale number one in our catalogue and its name is Whalentine, quite appropriately. The age individuals but also we can look at areas that are important for protection for the sake of these animals. Now here you can see if you look at this map, the square and the circle are where it was originally seen back in 1984 off the northeast coast of the country in the Trincomalee Canyon. Where I saw it was this triangle, which is less than 10 kilometers away from where it was seen 27 years before. I don't have any idea what the animal did in the intervening years. It could have gone on a big fat holiday, but the point is it came back and it may have been coming back throughout the years. Just, going, just goes to show um, the importance of this area to these animals and gives us a sense of site fidelity around the island. Um, the other cool thing you can do with it also is population estimates. Over time you build up the catalogue and you can count how many individuals are coming out here based on just their unique markings. It's an incredibly simple tool but the amount of things you can do with it, the power of this tool is unbelievable. <laughs>